What's up, guys? It is recomp time. 12 weeks out from my birthday, approximately about 12 weeks. And I figured I'm gonna put the pedal to the metal and get in amazing shape by my birthday. And I wanna bring you along for a part of the ride. So today, as I sit here right now, just got done a busy day, consultations, content creation, filming new videos for the online membership platform, live Q and A's for the Instagram or for the Patreon network and a few other things. But now it's time to peel myself up off this chair and get to the gym and I'm gonna bring you with me quick, well, well, it's relatively quick workout, about 50 minutes or so I'm planning. We're gonna train upper body pull. I'm running that push pull split right now still. I banged out 35 minutes of pre-core at the house today and I'll keep that going. Um, it's a little too cold. I mean, it's like 18 degrees outside. I'm up here in New Jersey, right on the ocean. And uh, that breeze coming off the Atlantic is brutal. You'll see when we walk outside but we're crushing goals and uh, I want you to be a part of it. Let, let's see how it goes. Will I make it? I'm actually, I'm starting right now. So these are gonna be basically real time videos every day. Um, I'll be putting these out for you and uh, let's see how it goes. I'll be throwing some food in there, some shop arounds. I'll mostly be filming this myself. I'm not some uh, famous YouTuber with camera crews walking around following me and doing all the editing and whatnot. So uh, this will be raw content. It will be real content. It will not be tampered with. Um, no BS timelines put in. What you see is exactly what I'll be doing. And there's a transparency I think that is important that I want to bring to you. The real deal behind the scenes. Certain things I won't leave out. You know, I'm a pretty private person in a lot of ways. With my home life, my family, I have young children and whatnot. So uh, you might not see all the stuff, you know, just in my home um, at this point. But maybe if I can get the kids out of the house, maybe I'll film a little bit um, cooking and, and doing some of that stuff. So enough talk. Let's get to the gym. Now, normally, I'd be playing some sort of rap, East Coast rap, maybe Dirty South rap, or metal, usually Metallica, on the way to the gym. But because I'm gonna be throwing this up for YouTube, I can't use those. I'm gonna have to use maybe no music, uh, maybe some sort of, of free copyright um, enabled music that I can find. So what you're hearing right now, this is not my normal pre-gym hype psych training music. This is uh, my YouTube compliant be a good boy music. Take a look at this.
All right, we're here. One of the gyms I train at, and uh, probably my favorite. Of course, we gotta have our masks on, right? So, not this mask, this is my non-dirty ass mask, non-training mask. AirPods, transparency mode, or non-transparency mode. I should say noise cancellation mode. That is key. That is key. Definitely worth the investment. Oh, shit. For those who don't mind dropping a couple extra bucks. And, uh, how's that one luck? Good enough, right? All right, let's do this. Check this out. I left that jacket here a month or so ago. I totally forgot. And it's still here, that's pretty cool. Now, I won't forget two side by side.
Whoa. Maybe that's helpful. That was gnarly. Um, I didn't show you every set for sure. I only showed you. Sometimes it was the warm-up set. Sometimes it was a mid-set. Apologies for that. I'm sure you don't mind. Um, it's weird to film yourself in the gym. You know, I'm not a big fan of that. I'm just trying to be dedicated to you guys and uh, give you a little bit of behind the scenes. Um, so maybe I'll get a little bit better when I get over my, my not stage fright, but you know, I just want to be that weirdo filming himself. Got that Dolce Way Pro. Shake it up. This is our chocolate made with cacao five ingredient this isn't a sales pitch by the way but this is behind the scenes this is what i'm drinking post-workout i'm getting a little bit of a, that grass-fed cold process cross flow micro filtered whey protein isolate mixed with three grams of a creatine monohydrate i don't know which one i'm using just one i think it's jarro actually i help, still have some jarro left now the thing is when you when you mix up any shake and this is just water whey protein water and that that little bit of, of creatine you really want to take the time and, and extra mix it a lot of people they don't wick, mix their creatine monohydrate up well enough and it leads to some gastric distress so i really just try and make sure i mix the heck out of mine um you also want to mix it in room temperature water not cold water it helps it dissolve faster um so workout was good, you know, started with uh, elliptical. I do that pre-core 10 minutes just to get the body warm. I hit some, some basic stretches, hamstring, glute, low back, a little bit of ab activation. Um, then I go over to the uh, glute ham raise, which you saw that one. I think that was set one. Uh, I did a few sets of, I think I did three sets, two 20s and a 15 hamstring. My hamstring gets super pumped on that. From there, I went down to, uh, I call those the, the Hollingshead pushdowns, James Hollingshead. I saw him do a video on that. I really enjoy that, kind of like the Dorian Yates pullover with the Nautilus machine. Though our Nautilus machine, we have one here. It's unavailable due to COVID, right? They got it all taped off. So I'm just being respectful of, of the space though. Nobody was near it. But anyway, do those Hollingshead pushdowns. A uh, few sets there. I, I'm, I do try and lately at this age and stage, I try and keep relatively higher reps more often than not. I mean, I'll still get heavy. You'll see me later on in, in the winter, early spring, getting pretty heavy. I'll probably be pulling 600 plus pound deadlifts a few times, doing like 300 plus pound bent over rows. Um, but anyway, so I did those Hollings head pushdowns. Then I went over to bent over dumbbell rows right you saw me do a bunch of one arms i did five sets of those uh worked up to 130 pounds so i did 50 50 pounds just super light for 20. i did 85 pounds super light for 20. i did 110 again super light for 12. and then i did two sets of the 130s at 10 reps or so i probably could have hit 15s but form would have got a little shit. so i really tried to just meet mentally focus on my lats and uh, I'm talking to you now, not having seen it, right? So as you're watching it, um, you know, it kind of like I, I use some body English at certain points, but I do that to keep tension on the muscle and to ship tension off of my hips and glutes, right? So when I shift, I don't care if I use 110 pounds or 150 pounds, all I'm really trying to do is just keep tension on those muscles. And I, I kind of chase that muscle fiber a little bit, uh, which some of the more high level intermediate advanced lifters, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and then what do we do from there? I went from there, then I just went to a simple uh, low cable row. I did a couple sets there, uh, reps, you know, in between, you know, 10 and 20. Um, so I forget which set I film with you guys, maybe a 10 or a 12 rep set there. Um, but just really getting a good stretch, good squeeze. Like my back is all the like lat muscles, rhomboids. Um, you know, my erectors always get, get freaking pumped. Um, traps, you know, and then finish with some, uh, some, you know, low pin 
deadlifts and that's really just for like upper back good squeeze getting that that mid um that low trap you know mid back tie in so i really hit those first i get that area fatigued um did a few sets there going up to 315 and then i did some barbell shrugs just with 225 you know sets of like 10 15 reps slow shrugs finish with a little bit of calves um and uh what the hell else? And then some core. You know, I hit core early in the workout and I hit it at the end of the workout. I like to get about 200 total reps um, on core work. Almost every workout. I'll get at least 100 reps on some sort of, of rotational work every workout. Um, some workouts, I'll get a little bit more than that. I think I got 200. I'll have to look at my book. Um, 200 reps there. So that's it. Just a simple late, not late night. It's, it's 6.30 now, you know simple little workout this is day one day one of the transformation transfer i don't know what are we going to call this series give me a couple days we'll come up with something for this series if you guys want to follow along if you want to do your own program just go to the dolce diet.com um i'll use promo code transform promo code transform i'll give you guys a discount because this is the transfer this is my transformation i'm doing this completely for me if you want to jump in definitely jump in be a part of it um if you're doing you do you um but i'm doing me you know i want to be in amazing shape my birthday comes um in mid-april and i'm 12 weeks out from that right now it's important to set goals guys and girls you know i set a lot of goals uh, during the pandemic i achieved all my pandemic goals and then some uh crush goals all through the the winter end of 2020 out of the gate early January again. And uh, I'm like, uh, like I spoke about with Chris Duffin in my Mad Scientist podcast on YouTube. Um, I'm like a shark and I think we're all like sharks. I'm always swimming forward, always swimming forward, always looking for what's next, what's what's in front of me, like what, where's that next meal, right? I'm, I'm ready to eat, where's that next meal, where's that next danger, like danger ahead, predator ahead, like what, what do we got going on, ready to scrap, like ready to get after it. Um, because if me personally, maybe you also, if I don't set goals, if I'm not looking forward, if I'm not moving forward, I get self-destructive, I get complacent real quick, I fall apart real quick, I know myself. After this many years in this body, you know, wrestling with this crazy ass head, um, I, I know myself well enough to know that I got to keep goals in front of me to stay on track, to keep moving forward. And I'm so much happier when I have something to work towards, something to look forward to, something to get me out of bed early, to keep me up, to keep me moving. Um, and then also the positive reinforcement of bam, I, I checked off this goal, those, those Hollings had push downs. I got three more reps this time than the last time I did that. How freaking awesome is that? I mean, that's a PR right there. I'm leaving this gym on the high note because I just got a PR. A PR that doesn't mean anything to anyone else on this planet, but it means something to me because I have a goal. I have it written down. I track my progress. I stay ahead of it. And uh, it makes it really easy to do that. Um, so again, if, if, if you want to take part, if you want to follow your own plan, if you want to transform your body, if you want to recomposition your body, if you want to build muscle, if you want to lose fat, if you want to gain energy, if you want to stick to a program, go to thedolcediet.com and get started. Use that transform promo code. You're going to save 25%. Don't tell anyone. 25%. Um, I'm just creating this right now as I'm sitting here talking to you. 25% discount with that transform promo code. Follow the same exact meal plan I'm following. I'll keep you updated on my workouts. Now I'm running a little bit of a hybrid split, um, but I'll talk about this inside the exclusive membership group. So anyone who becomes a member of the DolceDiet.com's weight loss platform, you will get an automatic invitation to join my private support group. This is only for members of the online platform. We have a membership group, which is freaking awesome. It's a global community of people that are all working their asses off to get in amazing shape. And now I'm not just the coach, I'm also a client, which is super cool. So I'm gonna be in there posting all my stuff along with you guys, but also offering best practices so you can jump in and, and take part. A lot of you guys have been asking about working one-on-one -on -one with me. I am love, I love to do that. I'm happy to do that. You can simply go to dolcedietshop.com, click on the little one-on-one -on -one tab and schedule your appointment. What you, you'll click on the one-on-one, -on -one, um, you'll, you'll go through the little payment portal, which is a massive discount from my regular price. You'll see that there, it's awesome. So proud of that, like I'm very proud of that actually. Um, 
and then you'll get a note from the team. They'll give you my schedule and you just go and pick your date. Whatever date's good for you is good for me. I already have it blocked out for you guys. And I think that's it. There's so much more stuff, um, but I'm, I'm just, I'm shot. I want to drink this. I want to get home. I need a shower. Um, it's funny because like the beach is right there. I'll show you guys tomorrow uh, my drive home. I'll, I'll go in the daytime. I mean, I'm, I live at the beach. I live on the beach. Literally, I walk out my front door and I'm on the beach. And uh, it's a little too dark right now, so from a safety perspective. But on the weekend, I'll do that polar bear plunge. I'll actually leave, leave the gym. I'll drive because I'm steaming hot. I'll leave the gym. I'll drive straight to the beach and I'll just walk right in, jump in the water. And uh, I don't have a towel with me right now, so that would be dangerous at this time of night. It's, it's pitch black dark. But I'll go in the daytime, jump in the freezing cold water, but it's salt water. It's so invigorating. Wim Hof would be so proud. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll do that with you guys too. I'll bring you um, along for that. That's hard to run the camera though, so I'll have to figure that out. And this lone cameraman stuff is not easy. It, it kind of sucks. Um, but I am doing it for you. So I hope you guys appreciate that. Give myself a little pat on the back here. Um, I certainly don't enjoy this the shooting, like filming myself and doing this stuff, as you can tell, um, probably from just getting to know me. Um, so this, this whole series is dedicated to you guys. I'm really hoping that I can, you know, help you transform yourself, help you transform your life. Um, follow along with me. If, if I can do it, you can do it. Man, like I'm, I'm busy. You guys know I'm busy, you know, married for 20 years. So I'm a married man. I got two little babies in the house, five years old and four years old, a new four year old, um, running the businesses, working with clients, like all the things have a, a you know, a, a old little puppy dog in the house that we got to take care of her. Um, all the stuff, all the crazy stuff that everyone else has. Um, and, uh, you got to prioritize and I'm not slowing down here even though I'm I'll be one year older soon I mean I'm already there uh, getting a little bit older every year getting older but older doesn't mean slower older doesn't mean weaker older doesn't mean that we take steps backwards older means we get wiser we get smarter we get better and uh, I'm trying to age like a fine wine and I want to help motivate you guys to do so so i'm going to cut this video right now um i will produce it tomorrow i'll edit it i even do all the editing here um so it's it, it's a labor of love and it's all for free my friends it's all for free the the money we make on youtube is, is laughable i would completely shut off the monetization of youtube but here's a little trick and i've done that before if you shut down your monetization so there's no ads youtube doesn't show your videos at all it won't even recommend them to your viewers. So I have to keep the monetization on just so you guys know that we put out a video. It's, it's madness, it drives me nuts. Maybe one of you guys can start your own tech company and uh, we can free ourselves from the, you know, the, the dictatorship here of, of what the hell's going on. But that's a whole other conversation. I need to get my, uh, I think the cops are, see, I'm talking bad about YouTube and the cops are coming to get me right now. That's the way it works. Well, on that note, I will see you from jail. Boom.